Listen, if you got a bunch of mooks that are willing to do unpaid labor for you and just kill whoever you want, wouldn't you want them to do all the work? You could have them co-host a podcast, too. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Denouement crew, where we analyze storytelling and video games. Uh, so this is Batman Arkham Asylum. I totally prepared. I didn't even have the window up because we were talking about sandwiches. Sandwich. Imagine that. So the, this game, this thing, this game came out in 2009. Uh, it's written by Paul Dini. Developers Rocksteady Studios. I think these guys are newcomers around this time, and their publishers are Warner Brothers. Or at least this is what this is what has listed here. I'm a little bit surprised. Warner Bros. Interactive, Square Enix Europe, Eidos Interactive, and apparently Square Enix again. I does Square Enix. Square Enix has says... <laughs> well, they have multiple branches, like each one for the countries. Yeah, it's yeah, it's kind of like Ubisoft. I think they like. Ubisoft has got one in Canada and one in France. I'm not sure about that. I just know that they have different branches because there's like American uh, Enix and then Europe and Japan. It's just a little bit confusing to me because that's a lot of publishers in one in one set. Um, this game uses the Unreal Engine, so this time we're actually correct on the engine. <laughs> Woohoo! <clears throat> hey, what do you uh, mean? That was you. Oh, wow, thanks. Yeah, you didn't even cool. t say, like, the engine in Dead Space. You're just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I, uh, I don't pay attention. Games that came out in 2009. Boy, did this make me feel old. Left 4 Dead 2, Resident Evil 5, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. God, really? Yeah, Borderlands God. 1, Dragon Age Origins, and Halo 3 ODST, and Assassin's Creed 2, if you're a Ubisoft fan. God help Damn. Oh, those uh, I've never played. <clears throat> oh, that's a shame. <laughs> those hosts of those are really good. <laughs> yeah, second game I think is the only one that. But the, the, the things to talk about when uh, I don't, I don't think we'll ever talk about. It. I'm not a fan of Ubisoft games or playing them. <laughs> anyway. Mainly because of you play. Anyway, yeah, the other game that was on this list that caught my attention was Uncharted Two. If you're, you know. If you PlayStation fans are still here after we played through Halo. <laughs> after we destroyed Halo. <laughs> yeah. So Listen, that's friend least... had a good time playing on a PlayStation controller. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Everyone loved it. It was fine. <laughs> we all liked it. So now I'm going to do something we haven't done before. I'm going to list off the voice cast because I think this voice cast is very interesting. If you're a fan of the Batman animated series, you're probably familiar with some of these names too. Mark Hamill as the Joker, of course he's listed first, <laughs> go figure. Kevin Conroy as the Batman, or Bruce... I was about to say Willis. I'm sorry? Excuse you, are you okay? I literally had a conversation before starting this talking about Die Hard and Die Hard 2 because I was thinking about using like <laughs> intros for a certain video, I, another I, essay video I'm working on, but you know. Uh, I'm sorry, so I I'm still having a conniption fit over this because the Batman, Bruce Wayne, is literally right for you and you decided to call him Bruce Willis? <laughs> Lord. Uh, get out of here, you're done. <laughs> this is our show now. <laughs> <laughs> Other voices that uh pretty big names. Tom Kane as Jim Gordon, Commissioner Gordon. Steve Blum as Killer Croc. Fred Tedashore as Bane. You might recognize him as Soldier 76 and Overwatch. And Cree Summer as Penny Yun. I don't know who Penny Yun is yet. And the, some of these names I don't remember anymore. This is one of the games that I kind of phased over my head. Um, and then the, probably the most interesting one is Arlene Sorkin as Harley Quinn. It was the original voice of Harley Quinn. We haven't gotten to Tara Strong yet, who will be in the next game in this franchise. So I thought that was pretty interesting to name off. I didn't realize that who uh, Soldier 76's voice actor was in the screen. Well, now that you say that while I'm looking through the list here, I'm going to give you another surprise. Keith Ferguson as some of the uh, 
the goons in in this game who voices Reaper in Overwatch as well. He also voices Damn. a lot of orcs in Warhammer 40k, but that's just me. He likes to destroy his voice apparently. I don't I don't recognize a lot of voice actors. Like I'll catch their like the tones and like put things together but most of the time I don't recognize their names. Yeah. Uh so we'll get through his initial thoughts about the well which do you guys want to go through first? Our perceived or initial thoughts about Batman or just the Arkham series? Because that, that's two big boxes to just unpack there. Um, Good, frankly, I don't know anything about the games. Uh, yeah, okay, so I, we'll, we'll, do, I, we'll do things about Batman then. Batman? What else is there to say? <laughs> the Batman. Who's He's your the favorite Batman. Batman? Of the live action movies? Uh, of any Batman anything. The only Batman series I ever watched was The Batman. The Batman. Wait, the moon, the new movie? No, not the new movie. The animated series that we've talked about multiple times oh, that okay, I can never yeah. remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're already automatically Kevin Conroy. <laughs> I love The Batman. It was a good series. It is a good series. Especially if you watch the Justice League uh, that came out afterwards. Yeah. Meanwhile, here I am, like, hmm, if I have to go with Batman, you gotta go with the old school classic TV's Adam R Adam West. Adam West. Rest Adam, Adam Rest. <laughs> Adam oh. Rest. Long may he rest in peace. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm, but if I'm gonna be honest, like, I don't know, I never really was attached to Batman as a character more so like with the connection of bruce wayne i personally felt more connection with his successor terry mcginnis from the batman beyond series yeah i, I remember that series too yeah i guess I, if i would go into anime i would still save kevin conroy there's been a couple new iterations but they i mean it's, that's a high bar to beat mm. um so i live action wise since i'm the movie guy here um, I really enjoyed the Dark Knight series, so it's Christian Bale for me. Never mind the voice and how stupid it got in <laughs> Dark Knight Rises. But yeah, Dark Knight, I mean, that movie has set a lot of standards for a lot of the superhero movies that you would get later on, especially with the uh, the Marvel movies. Can, can we just address the, the, the wonderful thing of George Clooney thinking he destroyed all superhero films because he played Batman? I'll be honest, I think the George Clooney as Batman was one of those things of um uh you know with the Spider-Man movies they say uh Tobey Maguire was a good Peter Parker but he didn't make a good uh Spider-Man I think in George Clooney's case he would have been a good Bruce Wayne but not a good Batman mm -hmm. I just love listening to like some of the interviews and he's literally just like I thought I ended Batman I thought I ended my career <laughs> Uh, boy, <laughs> came close. <laughs> Maybe a couple I'm gonna, times. I don't funny. believe you. I haven't. Uh, I haven't actually watched a live action Batman movie. Okay, no, tell a lie. I watched one Batman movie, and that was like in um, uh, what's his name? Oh, I can't. Michael Keaton. Think of his name. The guy from Minute. Uh, Minute Black. J. Tommy Lee Jones. He was the, yeah, he was the as fucking, ta as two -face. Two face. Yeah, that would yeah, be Batman that Forever. <laughs> yeah, that's the only Strange Batman movie I've seen. Strange times. That's a good example. Strange <laughs> times. You know, it's funny I too. The in the, was amusing. Yeah, in the old Batman, nineteen eighty nine, with um Michael Keaton and uh, Jack Nicholson. When mm -hmm. when they they actually showed Harvey Dent, which is uh, Two Face's uh, counterpart, for those who don't know was actually played by Billy D. Williams, who, if you don't know who that is, is Lando Calrissian in the Star Wars movies. Imagine if he had the role instead of Tommy Lee Jones. Good lord. That would have been interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I guess there's not much else to add besides, you know, on the superhero stuff. Batman's definitely... Um, well, if you ask anybody of... Uh, the most popular superheroes it's almost always going to be batman superman spider-man i think that's a fair assessment 
Mm -hmm. uh, I guess we have one very important question to ask game wise for you, Arsenal. Okay. Have you shut the played fuck this up. game yes, before? I have a long time ago, <laughs> but it is definitely fuzzed over in my head. Okay. After I played, right. so, I played, I played through, I played through the entire um, franchise of the four games. It, okay, mm. we're we're gonna be nice to you. This is we were gonna try to bring back the I played this game before counter, but because your memory is so fuzzy on it, we will give you a pass. Don't this worry, we will not badger you for this. You, I don't believe you. <laughs> Don't worry, it, it's fine, we won't, we won't, I promise. <laughs> oh, man. It'll be fine. Okay, um... Well, actually, why don't we, why don't we talk about this? Because I think that, for one thing, Batman has... Do you guys know anything about the, like, the villain roster he has? Because I, everyone, I think, will agree that Batman has the most interesting villain roster, and that's probably the, the big seller for Arkham Asylum. Yeah, like he's got a lot of interesting villains that I know about. Most other movies, I couldn't tell you their villains. I would say that his villain roster is big, but I mean, I haven't watched or read a lot of DC stuff, so I can't really say like openly that I think he has the best because I haven't seen them all. Uh, Bipolar opposite to Arsenal, where he's a DC guy, I'm more of a Marvel guy. So I'm kind of... I know a good handful of who Batman faces, but I wouldn't call them... I mean, I've seen a few of them fleshed out, but I haven't seen everything that Batman villains have to offer. It is. It I is, just know that there is a, a huge roster. They do have like... A, a, it, the, the movies really do have a tendency to stick to the Joker way too often. I mean, he's the most iconic. Yeah, I mean... Uh, off the top of my head, Batman 1989 was the Joker. Batman Forever had Danny DeVito as the Penguin, which... Killer idea. <laughs> Haven't yep. seen the new one yet. Um, just to get that off my chest. Uh, Batman Forever was Jim Carrey as the Riddler. As the Riddler, just yep. Jim Carrey. And then Two-Face and... Uh, Batman Forever... Batman and Robin. Okay, let me just tell you, Mister Freeze. Arnie as Mister Freeze is, is almost always gonna give you a good time. Oh god, that was brilliant. It was horrible, but it was brilliant. Yeah, and then Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy. Hunter, save yourself from that performance. Um, oh, Lord. And people forget Bane is actually in that movie, but all he does is yell Bane and <laughs> do things. Um, then I think we're pretty much on a hiatus with Batman movies and Batman Begins. We had Scarecrow, which was a uh, definitely a nice change of pace, and Ra mm -hmm. uh, Raish Al Ghul, Al Ghul instead of Raz Al Ghul, but whichever way you pronounce it, I don't really care. Um, Dark Knight had Two Face and the Joker again, but Heath Ledger probably pretty much making a, a legacy on that. Dark Knight Rises was Bane. Well, not really Bane. I think, well, it's fair to, oh, yeah. We'll we'll get to that part of that phase in Batman villains, because that actually did change uh, Bane for a uh, generation. Um, so, like, who else is there on the roster? Like, there's Clayface, there's... Mm, I I know I had him. He was on the tip of my the Conman King. Uh, the Conman King. Um... Con condiment. Man, bad. Oh, the condiment. I said Conman, not what you're thinking. <laughs> Get your minds out of the gutter. Go over. Go to your corner. Um, uh, Mad Hatter is actually a villain. Man, mm. bad. Um, I think Killer Shark's a Constantine villain, but he could be in Batman's roster regardless. Killer Croc. Yeah, I know Killer Croc was more of a Batman villain. I thought Shark was more Constantine. Yeah. Um, I can't remember his name, but he, he he was all about like clocks and everything being meticulous, like a like a clockwork tower. 
Uh, strange? He was Hugo strange? Maybe. I, I'm pretty sure he was like a one-shot villain. I don't know. I'm sure I'll find out in the future because I'm pretty sure he was only dedicated to the animated series like once. Oh, I think. Are you talking about the Phantasm? The animated movie? Uh, no, it was in the animated series. It was like one episode. Oh, it might it might have been a one shot then. Yeah, I I liked him so much, like a lot more than the other Batman villains. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, Arkham Asylum. What's the history yeah. of this game? Uh, this is definitely well. It's not the game that defined the superhero genre. That would definitely be the the sequel that would come later, Arkham City. But people were pretty uh pretty hyped up about this because it was the uh it had been quite a long time since we had good superhero games. Spider Man Two was probably like a couple years before. Um, I mean, people probably still had a pretty good memory of Superman sixty four, and that's really the bottom of the barrel of that. But uh, the combat system in this game, I do remember that, is going to be copied to a lot of games. I actually just finished a game called Mad Max, which uses the same exact system, only that you're <laughs> beating the shit out of people. Oh. And using cars. Car combat in that uh -oh. game is pretty good. But yeah, that's uh, that's the big stuff. Uh, any of the other things we want to mention before we dive right in? Oh. Okie dokie. No, I think... I think we're good. All right, let's get into it. Should we be quiet or? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. So. <laughs> well. Oh, no. I don't. I was gonna say I didn't know if you wanted this to be silent for the viewers or not. I don't know. The most dreaded words in, in post-production. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> we'll fix it in post. <info. laughs> Let's fucking go. Uh, so, what are the biggest plot points that we want to focus on with this one? What? 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 Speeding is illegal, unless you're the vigilante. Huh? All right. <laughs> Imagine if that R was an H. Ahem. Ahem is Ahem. Ahem is Ahem. Well, now that I can hear you guys. <laughs> Wait, never mind. Can't Welcome to Asylum. Asylum. What the hell? Okay. Um, <laughs> hey, Sharpie. Love what you've done with the place. That's Warden Shop to you. Bowles! Yo, Frank, hey! How's the wife and kids? You miss me? Shut it, clown! <gasps> A lot of people here really want to talk to you. <laughs> really? I don't mind walking. Not so tight, boys. You'll crease the suit. <laughs> Get that filthy degenerate out of here. Warden, something's not right. I'm going with him. Now, and I finally have <laughs> sound setting. I love listening to Quincy Sharp because I keep thinking it's like an episode of Star Wars or Clone Wars. Oh, yeah, Wars. doesn't he play the uh, narrator in the be a uh, be a beacon? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Well, it's shocking. My boys over there could have been hurt in that unfortunate fire. Just gotta check your prisoner, officer. Oh, don't worry about it. Whatever. Just it's fine. Quick. Don't worry about it. Following procedure. Patient seems to be in satisfactory condition. 
Looks like he suffered minor lacerations, probably in the last two hours. There seems to be... <laughs> Need to take my temperature? I'd be happy to drop my pants. He's all yours. Get him out of here. He's good. Get the door. Bye, Baywon. <laughs> I've heard this voice before. I've heard that I've voice heard before. I've heard this voice before. Maybe instead of a... <laughs> I've played this game before. Every time we see Steve Bloom in a different game, it's just, I've heard this voice before. <laughs> it is just a continuous counter over the, over the entire Day to Mod podcast. <laughs> I know that voice. Must have been one of the guards. Bye, Steve Bloom. <laughs> I swear I've heard that. Get ready. Keep your weapons trained on us at all times. <laughs> Looks angry. No shit. He's in prison. You do too. <laughs> What's it doing? I've got your scent, Batman. I will hunt oh, you down. Get that animal under control. A toy collar won't stop no. me from killing you, Batman. I'll rip you apart. Eat your bones. Must be good calcium. That reminds me. I really need to get me some new Okay, cheese. move up. Hold tight. How come they let Batman pass security? Wee! Great night for a party! Not where you're going. <laughs> the night is young, Bats. I still have a trick or two up my sleeve. I mean, don't you think it's a little bit funny how a fire at Blackgate caused hundreds of my crew to be moved here? <laughs> I thought I told you to stay quiet! Oh, Frankie, you really should learn to keep that fat mouth of yours shut. It'll get you into trouble. Tell me something. You've never let me catch you this easily. What are you really after? Oh, nothing much. Hundreds dying in pain and fear. All their meaningless lives brought to a horrifying conclusion. All thanks to you and a book of matches. Was that the answer you wanted? All patients should avoid contact with prisoners from Blackgate Prison Facility. Their presence... <laughs> What's he doing? Stay where you are. Get a flashlight! Get a light on him! That's a really good flashlight. Damn it, lights the whole room up. <laughs> what? Don't you trust me? Our guest has arrived. Intensive treatment lower floors are now at level red alpha. So, you're back. You killed three of my crew when you busted out of here. Only three? <laughs> I'll be sure to try harder next time. What say we aim for a hundred? Long night, Jim. <laughs> Joker invades City Hall and holds the mayor hostage, leaving it to me to juggle SWAT teams, the media, and you. Yeah, it's been a hell of a night. Hopefully the last one we'll ever have with him. Yeah, right. Hold it there. Sorry, Batman. Arkham staff only. I assure you, if anyone's qualified, it's... Uh, listen, I appreciate the assistance, but he'll unsettle the more violent inmates. <laughs> I think he's talking about you, Bats. Don't be a stranger. You're always welcome here. Gotta say, it's good to be back. <laughs> you okay? He surrendered almost without a fight. I don't like it. At least he's back where he belongs. Get up! Now! <laughs> Joker's loose. Alert the warden. Hurry! We're losing him, Doc! <laughs> the joke's on you. Hee <laughs> hee! Ta-da! Honey, 
I'm home. Come on in. Welcome to the man. Woo! Superhero landing. I set a trap and you That's hell on your knees. Now let's get this party started. I don't understand why they just let him break the window instead of just opening the fucking door. For this interruption to your regular Vigilante. Not that easy. Until a few seconds ago, I was gonna kill everyone in the room and then watch cartoons. But then, well, you know how I do love a captive audience. Go down. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I was really hoping. <laughs> Oof! Good shot! Oh! Oh, I felt that God. from here! Oh! He <laughs> stopped caring, man. The boys right. are crying. On, on the left, we're gonna be putting a nut counter. So let's already head, let's go ahead and knock that up to two. <laughs> the system's jammed. We're stuck in here. Joker's in full control of the security gates. I'll find a way out. Gordon, try and contact the warden. Let him know what's happened. I'll be back. Don't make promises you can't keep, Daps. I'm in control of the asylum. You're not going anywhere I don't want you to. Understand? If you think I'll let you run... Bah, bah, bah. Always with the hero speed. Ooh, I'm getting bored of watching you. Why don't you just come find me? You know it's a trap. Of course it is. This isn't a simple escape attempt. Joker's been planning this. What took you so long? <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's no escape, Joker. I will find you. Ooh, I'm counting on it. Just not yet. Ugh. It's so gross. Well, that was unexpected, wasn't it? Oh well, note to self, need stronger test subjects. Seeing as how I'm feeling generous, I'll give you this one for free. Knock me off! I dare you. End this! Pull the plug! Stop me once and for all! <laughs> oh, you're getting too predictable, bats. Well, I'd love to stay and chat, but I have a party to organize. I've got guests flying in from all over Arkham. You'll see. <laughs> How do you even get on top of that thing? Who fucking knows? It's the yeah, Joker. That's his cares? voice actor, Mark, Mark Hamill, for help with powers from Wait, Luke Skywalker. Here more of them come. Yeah, yeah. Having a little trouble up there? Joker. You're expecting maybe two fates. There's no escape, Joker. Maybe. Silly bat. I don't want to escape. I'm having way too much fun. I even have you here to keep a smile on my face. Not for long. Really? We'll see. Ta-ta! Oh, I forgot to say. Just in case you were planning on following me, I've arranged a little insurance. Gordon is on his way to Harley as we speak. Officer Bowles. <laughs> Bowles. If I see you trying to follow me... He's got Bowles. He Harley's looking forward to it. Maybe I'll film it and post it on the internet. <laughs> Yep. Batman, what's happening? Joker's escaped. He sealed himself off. <laughs> He's got your father. Dad. 
Don't worry, I'm getting him back. Okay, I know, but... Oracle, I'm getting him back. Joker will not win. I won't let him. I'm starting where he was taken. A guard named Frank Bowles attacked him. If I find Frank, I'll find your father. Bruce, hurry, please. Easy with the name drop. Slotty! <laughs> hey, Dad! I know you can hear me. I've got a little something for you to listen to. Harley and Frank are nearly out of the building with the old man. How are they going to get past all those guards? Let's have a listen, shall we? Hey, Frank, where you been? Joker's got more men on the way. They're coming around the front of the asylum. Gotta stop them getting in, quick! Get over there! Damn, come on, everyone, cover the main entrance! How many are there, Bowles? Wait, hang on, how the hell do you know what- Bowles! Yeah. Frank, what are you doing? No, put it down! Frank, what the hell? Quinn! It's clear, get your ass in here! You're some piece of work, Frankie. Joker wants him stopped, I'm going to do it. Hey there. Oh my god. That's, um, oh, those were the easy called, ones. Um, I just man bat. Yeah, man bat. Who's man bat? I don't know man that one. Bat. He's like that, that, that. half man. Yeah, half I bat. know. Man bat's one of my favorite silly bad guys. All he wants to do is be a bat. That's pretty. <laughs> Very. Welcome to Aquaman's Island. Help. It's dangerous down there, Batman. We've got multiple black gators. They've got a hold of firearms, probably from the guard armory. What Thanks are you gonna do? Give me a sword? Sir. What is this what camera angle? Guns to stop me. <laughs> What's that angle? Gotta get in there! <laughs> Batman. Thank God. We lost control of the tunnel. We got split up. Some of my I've heard this voice before. It's a massacre. Oh yeah. Stay here. That's Absolutely. a very it's a very nice voice. Another great camera angle. <laughs> Gun. <laughs> Gun. <laughs> I love Thanks, it. Sir. I love it so much. It's a good line. It's a good line. Come in. Sit down. Take off your mask. So, Bats, I was thinking. You really could use a friend in here. Someone to talk to. Share secrets with. 
Shall we start with the big one? Who is that behind the mask? Why do you feel the need to go out into the world and fight people like me? Do you really think you can win? We'll see. <laughs> hey, scram, bats! This is my me time. Where's Gordon? <laughs> Wouldn't you like I'm to? I'm over know? here. Shut up! Ah, you I'm over here. <laughs> 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 oh, you little minx. I can never stay mad at you. Sorry, B-Man. You'll have to find another way. Goodbye now. This way's blocked. Was that roll necessary? For another way in. <laughs> Angrily opens the door. I can be do work in a video game. Batman? I don't know what happened. One minute we were doing our evening rounds, and I the know that voice actor. armed thugs burst into the room and took us hostage. Did they have anyone My with God. them? They took someone into the elevator. I couldn't tell who it was. They obviously didn't want to be followed. Thank you, Doctor Doctor. The elevator appears to have been powered down. You're going to be okay here. Batman! Don't speak. You're safe now. But, but it's a trap! I know. Just not for me. <laughs> it's true! You really are the world's greatest detective! How did you do that, Bats? Oh, what the Let's just... Uh, Get down there, boys! See that's just vigilante talk for... Yep! Call an ambulance! Bats. But not for me! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, of course. <laughs> Scream as you attack. I can't. I can't. Right. No. I can't. I can't. Oh. Holy oh. shit. <laughs> Don't get too full of yourself, Bats. I'm just softening you up. Think of this as a preview uh. to the main event. You'll see. Too easy! Oh, think about it. I've got you trapped in a little metal box, hanging precariously over a deadly drop. What say I just blow the emergency brakes and drop you like a sack of puppies? Say goodnight, bats. Boom! <laughs> Only kidding. Got a few more surprises in store for you. Prepare to face your fears. All of them. <laughs> oh, it's the boy. I love Scarecrow. I like him too. His, his concepts are really cool. If you think about it, in the DC universe, he could be the most uh, OP character. Mm -hmm. I mean, All yeah. I do is get that gas. Bear, okay. Ooh, it looks like the good doctor has started early. Your appointment is for hours. I'm sure you'll be buzzed through when he's ready. Tell me, Bats, what are you really scared of? Failing to save this cesspool of a city? Not finding the commissioner in time? Me in a thong? <laughs> 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 I don't need to touch that. I don't need to touch that. <laughs> I'm sure I can find that on DeviantArt. I mean, we could just have a continual I've played this game before counter as just a gimmick of the entire series. I'm gonna get violent real quick if you do that. <laughs> but Arsenal, you played this game before. 
And it all comes back full circle when we finally get to the point of playing our own games that we've played before and you can say it. Yeah. His silence is unsettling. <laughs> he was right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. All right, all right, I'll get out of here. All right. <laughs> I swear to God, if Joker's in a thong somewhere in here, I'm out. <laughs> That's the line drawn for me. Listen, if Joker shows up in a thong, we just end day new mod. <laughs> That's how we go out. Just Father, nah, we done. Have stood up to him, son. Like a man. But Dad, I was oh, hey, What the fuck? <laughs> Oh look, oh look, moving bodies. Mom? Help us, Bruce. Don't let us die. That, hmm. That's a very interesting lip sync. Yeah. Hi, Scarecrow. Oh, hey, I didn't know we were playing first person. I, yeah, it was only moving first person uh, when we opened that stuff. Oh. <laughs> I see. Snoring. The old man is snoring. I actually thought that was a game for a second. That actually fit in <laughs> real well. I was like, a like, what the fuck's going on? Listen, I make a good villain in role play. It's fine. <laughs> I, I believe like you. Funny. <laughs> Poor little bat, you're in my world now. Oh no! I do you like the design of the scarecrow? Yeah, I mean... Ah, 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 he's big! Do you need a second? I don't mean to sound cynical, but this fool is gonna kill us! Okay, I'm done. I can't get over that he's just casually spinning around in a circle. <laughs> This is the best fear. searching pattern. <laughs> but it's the feetsies. <laughs> oh my god, I hate it. <laughs> Your weakness. The bat signal. <laughs> oh no, light There's is only bat weapon. It's the bat light. Bruce Wayne has a bat weapon for bat everything. Can you hear me? Bruce, what's going on? Oracle, I'm okay. What happened? I lost contact. Are you sure you're alright? Have you found my dad? I'm fine. Had a little run-in with Scarecrow. Slowed me down. I'll get back to you in a bit. You know, it's a good thing like Scarecrow can't like see what you're hallucinating while you're underneath this uh, fear stuff. I feel like any character that could do that is a little overpowered. That's what I'm saying. It's a good thing he doesn't do that because, like, wow, Bruce. Hmm. Yeah. Shocker. Oop, stuck on something there. It wasn't Gordon. Good job. Crane's gas must have affected me more than I thought. I we I didn't need that line. Little bat, having trouble figuring out what's real and what's just a figment of your twisted little mind. Same here. <laughs> just roll with it, bats. It gets easier once you get in. It really does. No. Listen, 
No more tricks. Yeah. Just one last. <laughs> there it is. That shot. He no deliberately did that out of my control. Batman just nut shots uh, against Ar Arsenal out of spite. Willing to buy Jeepo's art of Arsenal getting punched in the nuts by Batman. Take a look. Harley's under strict instructions to kill the old man. If any of my guys even think you're in the room, they're patrolling down there. I've told them all you're on the way. So here's the deal. If you can find a way to get to Harley without anyone realizing, I'll give you your next present. Fail, and the old codger dies. Hell, I may even give you Harley. <laughs> it looks like you could use a new sidekick. Hmm. Isn't that... that... that happens anyway. So, you have given in and Oh wait, we don't know that map. yet. I well, yeah, we don't know if there's Robin useful. anywhere, but that could totally have been Jason Todd. That was definitely not what I was talking about. Oh, what were you talking about? I was talking about Batman and Harley Quinn. Oh, God, no. <laughs> you know, the movie, Batman and Harley Quinn. Uh, not messy. No. He wants the old man kept safe this is Batman. why Superman works alone. Him, <laughs> Superman works alone. Until Supergirl becomes a red lantern. Batman will be a dead man, and I'll be famous. Whatever. Get I here. know my DC lore. Go. Listen up, boys. The commission is just dying for one of you to spot the first try. Uh-huh. If you cut out that first failure, I'm gonna call you out on it. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> you took longer than I wow, she, and she's just out. <laughs> He's trying to prove something. She's not sure super powered, man. No, Don't man, that was just like I'm dead. Batman, listen. <laughs> it's just we're not oof. alone. He's got something else down there. I don't know what it is. What a blabbermouth! Spoiling a surprise. Be quiet. Oh, am I getting to you? Am I? Good. <laughs> You're going to love this next bit. It wants Dr. Young's login. Never mind that. Get behind me. Now. Bane. It's the it Bane Robert man. Pattinson. Oh. Oh Dr. my god. Cut me down. Who did this to you? Dr. Young, the Bruja. She drained the venom from my blood. Must stop her. Sorry, has Bane. The good doctor won't be a problem much longer. How do you like my puppet? What say we cut him down? Uh oh. Oh no. Gordon, run! God. Hulk smack? Wait, we're on game. Yes, 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 the, the venom is your arrow. Just punch him in the face. <laughs> Just like, yes, punch this giant man in the face. I see. Bold strategy, got <laughs> How many times have we seen this boss battle before? Grabbing a rock. Uh, oh. Boy. <laughs> That's You're welcome. Rough. Thank you. <laughs> he almost cut you between a. No, no, rock no, and a no, hard no, place. no, no, no. Fuck. <laughs> Too late. It's already happened. Your jokes are becoming the bane of my existence. It's okay. I'll always be your rock for puns. 
I hate both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I agree to do this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the jack they made of weird puns. Batman, you okay? I'm fine, Jim. Where's Quinn? Gone. Must have gotten loose while Bane was throwing you around. We need to get you off the island. I'm not a rookie. I can handle myself. <laughs> <laughs> I will break you, Batman! Then the Bruja! No, Bane. This time I break you! Won't he drown, Batman? <laughs> My green electric car, Bruce! <laughs> Jim, uh. get back to the mainland. It's too dangerous here. I don't like leaving you here. Anyway, Just I'm going now. Just kiss already. Jesus. Bombs all over Gotham. Gotham will panic. You're needed there. We're ready to go now, sir. Hey, Steve Bloom. Thanks Bane for taking them out of here. Bruja. <laughs> what does it mean? It's Spanish for witch. Oracle. Yeah. Go through the city's computer. I actually knew that. Pull up all you can find on Dr. Young. I'll go through anything you find once I get to the cave. I built it years ago. It's best to plan ahead for situations like this. How'd you manage to keep this a secret? It's me, remember? How did he manage to keep the whole secret dossiers of how to kill every Justice League member for a secret for like yes, three seasons? Bane seemed even more powerful than usual. Joker wants the venom, and that can only be trouble. I'm heading to Dead Man's Point in Arkham North. I'll contact you once I'm in the Batcave. What? How is that a takedown? <laughs> Punch him in the nards, you coward. Woo! Superhero landing! That's hell on your knees. Real hell on your knees. You know, I would have been happy with doing that glide too, just saying. <laughs> Dr. Young was heading up a project. It was big, lots of external funding. Here are the last notes she filed. I can't make sense of it. What does it mean? Looks like she was experimenting on the Arkham patients. This new chemical only barely resembles the original venom compound. There are a number of changes that appear to amplify the strength of the drug. Multiple references to a Titan formula. Even a small amount could trigger a venom-like transformation in the host, eliminating the need for the storage tank Bane requires. Hang on. These notes aren't complete. The formula is missing. That must be the secret Dr. Young is hiding. If Joker gets his hands on this, he will create an army of a thousand Banes. My God. Is Joker crazy enough to do that? What am I saying? You've got to stop it. I was going to say, are you sure about that question? The Bat Claw. Requires Bat Terries. <laughs> you, you can die once you're done with Arkham. <laughs> Rip your flesh like paper. That was a very noticeable cutoff of audio there. Okay, I'm glad I wasn't the only one who noticed that. I've been digging <laughs> deeper into Dr. Young. According to her bank records, there have been multiple payments starting last April until two months ago. Then nothing. The payments came from a company owned by uh, Mr. Jack White. One of Joker's oldest aliases. So... Joker pays Dr. Young to create his army, and then all of a sudden he stops. Doesn't make any sense. Hey, this is weird. The payments to Dr. Young's account didn't stop exactly. They were declined. Dr. Young put a block on her account. 
Sounds like she had a change of heart. She tried to block the payments. Joker doesn't like it when his partners try to back out. So he decided to get himself back to Arkham, find his formula, and create the army himself. Exactly. I've hacked into her email accounts. Two mail stand out. The first is a resignation letter dated last week. Sounds like she was trying to get away. And the second? A message from Joker. Well, Jack White. It's a long thread. Uh, she's begging to stop the experiment. Says it's too dangerous. He's not listening. Let's see. Random threats to her family. A couple of bad jokes. A picture of a dead baby and a threat. Go on. He says, I'm coming for you. I want what I paid for. And then another joke about wheelchairs. Lovely. And a drawing of some kind of donkey. <laughs> 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 I shouldn't be laughing at that, but I am. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> like I said, I don't know a lot about DC, but I know that much. Ding dong! Joker again! <clears throat> don't worry about the bat! I put a few surprises along the way if he decides to turn up and spoil the fun. <laughs> Oh, and if you hear a shot in the dark, don't worry. There's very little chance of you getting hurt. The bat hunter. Still, you might want to check your health insurance. <laughs> Who am I kidding? You don't have any. Get Do that drops, bat. huh? Yeah, stuff that alters your power. God, that was a fucking killer cape. Yeah, I was like, that looked like it was his cape. I know that was his leg swinging, but it would look like his cape just knocked the shit out of him. <laughs> That's a killer cape. <laughs> oh, God. Like, I love that. Holy shit. You seem to be losing men like there's a plague in town. I guess the bat is back. I've got a couple of men in the dark now. What is covering your movement? <laughs> no shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> that shot barely missed. Why is he looking down like, where are you, Batman? <laughs> Alright, we're going to patrol now. But, 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 uh, but, uh... I thought I heard something. Must have been my imagination. <laughs> Must have been the wind. Hello again, boys. It's me. Please remember to take good care of all our hostages. They're no good to us dead. However, a bruise here or a cut there won't go miss. There's two up You'll there. laugh if there's... Yeah, I was about to say, I'm gonna laugh if there's like one more that's that's alive and shoots you. <laughs> okay, I do need to go that way though. Okay, um... Immediately just like, found him. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was too perfect. Yeah. I got a couple of Is that on there? Ding Warden Joker would like to announce that as of today, all Arkham guards have been fired due to budget cuts. <laughs> you walked in the lamplight. I don't know what you expected. Yeah, to be honest, that was more your fault than anything. <laughs> if there's anything I learned about stealth, stealth games, Batman don't doesn't make light, mistakes. Idiot. If there's anything I learned about stealth games, don't let Arsenal be in charge of, of the controller. They'll never see this coming. Oh Hello, my god. <laughs> I took me. the other guy! <laughs> oh my god! I... You deserved that shot. I took the other guy right from under him. <laughs> Grabbed him in between his legs. Huh? 
There it yeah. is. <laughs> He's really waiting for those. <laughs> yeah! Batman's like when forward is out of is not an option. Always look up. Hey, look at that! <laughs> Wham! <laughs> Who did that? You're on fire tonight. Guys, I'm a genius! <laughs> Joker here with a little update for you all. First, the good news. We have Dr. Yada. Bad news is she's not talking. She's hidden a document somewhere in the mansion. I want it found. I've got a plan or six to loosen her tongue, but in the meantime, search every cook and granny. There's a prize for whoever finds them. I need to find those notes before Joker does. <laughs> it's the bat! <laughs> do, I hit, do I hit him? Like... Do I hit him? <laughs> Wasn't Just quite the sure. fucking test me, I dare you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Nut shot! Yes, you're safe. What happened? It, it all happened so fast. Some patients broke in, began tearing up the place, like they were looking for something. Bill here fought back, but there were too many. They took Dr. Young. She rushed in here and they followed. I'm sorry. When I came to, we were all tied up. Doc Young was gone. You both the same voice actor? What the heck? Also, why bother hiring more voice actors when you can just get voice act other voice actors to just make <laughs> different do the voices, voices in the background? <laughs> yeah, yeah like, do like the background characters they don't really like need on? actual others for. Yeah, you know, the voice, the the job that they're assigned to do. Mm -hmm. Additional voices. Yeah. yeah. That was another nut shot yeah. for sure. <laughs> I hope you're keeping track. Oh, well, I'll keep track, but I, I don't know if he's written it down. Oh no, absolutely not. I'm just enjoying the fact that they're happening. <laughs> I'm a simple man. Oh. Thanks. Where did Dr. Young go? I told her to run. These guys came in looking for her. I told her to go to her office and hide. Does she keep her records there? I guess. She was pretty desperate to get in there. Her office is over there. How long ago was this? I need to find her notes before Joker gets his hands on them. Twenty minutes, maybe more. What's so important about the notes? Joker wants them. That makes them important. Stay here. I'm going to find her. Not a problem. I'll try the radio, see if anyone else is around. Someone has already got to the safe. The only question now is, who opened it? No sign of forced entry. Whoever opened it knew the combination. Hmm. Let's see. Good. Dr. Young got to her notes before Joker. She's taken them to hide somewhere. I need to follow her and find out where she put them. Why do I feel like Dr. Young is the real enemy out of all this? Oh, you mean like the real villain reveal? Oracle. Yeah. I'm on Dr. Young's trail. I've had to calibrate the scanner to only show recent prints. If I follow these, I will find her or the notes. I hope it works. Just so you know, the GCPD found one of Joker's bombs downtown. It was full of marzipan and kittens. As I thought, it's <coughs> just a twisted diversion. The real action's on Arkham. Who put all these kittens here? <laughs> eh, oh, no, it's just in the face. I thought it was another nut shot for sure. Did you <laughs> see that guy spit on his head? Mm. <laughs> Pull it back, I didn't see it, I was stretching. There's a dude that got punched and he was like spinning on his head on the well, floor. I guess I'll see it in the video. <laughs> well, I could pop up in the recording and see if we can find it afterwards. You're fine. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, where to now? Oh, I'm not. I gotta be in this mode. Oracle, 
I found Dr. Young's formula. Great. So does that mean you've stopped Joker? It's never this simple with him. Welcome, Joker. <laughs> There's a leak in the ceiling. My cape. cape. I can't fucking see with the cape in the way. I can't believe you insisted on sitting through that movie again, Bruce. Come on, we'll be late for Alfred. I'm sorry, Daddy. Go easy on him, Tom. He loved it so. Alfred will wait. Keep up, Bruce. Where are you taking us? We can cut through here. But it's starting to rain. Bruce is tired. Can't we just wait for him here? Come on, keep up. We're nearly there. Hold it there, oh, God! Please, there's no need for this. Stay where you are. I'll shoot. I'll give you whatever you want. <laughs> It's always got it has to get referenced every time in every Batman series. Do I? Come on, kid. This way. Take a seat in my office. Is he okay? He'll be fine. A kid like that with all that money. He'll be just fine. Shut up, now. He's eight years old and all alone. Money will fix that. Whatever you say, Gordon. His butler's on his way to pick him up. You hear that? He's got a butler. I'm sorry about that. I just need to ask you some questions. Can I get you anything? You okay? I know you don't feel like answering me, but it's the only way to catch who did this. I don't know. It's this city. There's something wrong with it. And listen, son. Call me Jim. Papers flying out of the television. <laughs> Something's wrong with it. I don't think that's wait, wait, those are all my letters to Hogwarts. I don't know anything about Harry Potter, but I will assess that as that is important information. It is what important. Are you trying to do? Everything about J.K. Rowling saying now is important. Oh. Would we want to say it's a trope, though, to, that uh, in these Batman series that they always have to mention that, you know, his parents are dead and replay that alley scene every time? Yeah, it's a bit of a broken record. Let me see something different. Let me see him kill his parents instead, goddammit. <laughs> it's, not, it's not what I was saying, but... Oh, 
tread. There you are. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Listening to Zaz make the good doctor scream while you played around in Scarecrow's world. How was it this time? Learn anything about yourself? Oh, tell me. Pull up a seat. Talk to me. I'm all Stay ears. Stay where you are, Batman. Listen to me carefully. Come any closer, and I'll paint the room crimson with her blood. I know you're still out there. It won't be long, and you'll hear her final song. Zaz, what are you talking about? Just kill her. She's useless to me now. But if I kill her, the bat will get me. No, you're not scared of a little bat, are you, Slicey? Oh wow, he's just out. I thought I had to punch him after that. You monster, yeah, beat him up. Evil, evil, evil monster. <laughs> he's not going anywhere. You can stop now. Sorry. <laughs> you can stop now. Sorry. I saw Bane. I know. I, I, Joker threatened me. I wanted to stop the experiment. I tried to give him his money back. Joker doesn't take no for an answer. He wants an army, a horrible twisted force to destroy Gotham, but he couldn't do it without the formula. I hid it, but... So now he has Venom and your formula. God, he has gallons of the stuff. There's a lab, hidden in the gardens. It's locked off, but the security key codes for the entire island are in the warden's safe. What else is Joker planning? How should I know? You think anything he says makes sense? I think he's insane. Oh my god! Get out of the way! Well, it's been a blast. Poor Dr. Young. Still, you know how Mr. J hates a squealer. Talking about squealers. Oh, 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 somebody help me! That old loony actually thinks he runs this place. Talk about crazy! Well, bash places to go! Get him, boys! If he gets up, knock him down, but not too rough. Mr. J needs him at the party. Oracle. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Young is dead. Have you figured out a way past these security gates? Before she died, she told me there's a production plant hidden somewhere in the gardens. The Wayne Tech security protocols seem to be hack-proof. We just did a good job. It's a two-part biometric sequence, apparently generated by the warden, using a code sequencer. And destroyed by Joker in the safe explosion. Harley Quinn has the warden, and he's the only chance we have to get past these gates. Okay, good luck. I think so. When did he die? Probably when you shot him. I am counting that as a nut shot. That is a nut shot too. <laughs> you got one for free after that. <laughs> Buy just one, get, get one free. You just get summoned now. <laughs> that looks like who I think it is. Stop, stop, Batman, please. You've got to help my baby. Hey, Ivy. I'm really not interested in a bunch of flowers, Ivy. They're in pain, crying for help. Just stay where you are. Last thing I need is you running free. Poor children. I'll save you. My poor babies. <laughs> You have to help me. Ivy? Gee, you look like crap. Maybe I can sneak you some shampoo. The plants, can't you hear them? They're crying out to me in agony. Yeah, well, I really don't have to much of this. Please let me out. They'll die without me. I don't know, Reg. You're not on Mr. J's party list. Oh, well. Uh, please. Uh, ah, what the heck? I'll cut you a break. That feels so much better. Mm -hmm. <sighs> She's a good kid.
Okay. I could <laughs> to do all day. What a riot. And speaking of riots, here's a bit of civil unrest I cooked up just for you. <laughs> 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 I don't know what I expected anything else. What are you waiting for? Cut me free! He's taken control of the security overrides. I have the sequence generator, but without the terminal in my office, it's useless. Your terminal has been destroyed. Give me the sequencer. What? Oh, yes, of course. It's useless. Half the code won't get you anywhere. We are trapped in here. Get me out of here! You rescued the wrong warden. He's an imposter. You know how many freaks are in this place. You can't leave me locked up in here! I hate it. <laughs> Don't get too full of yourself, Dark Knight. It only gets harder from here. He's for second place. I'm afraid you're off the party list. Better luck next time. <laughs> no! <laughs> Die, you big ugly bat! A forever. <laughs> hey, hands off the merchandise! Quiet. Why the smiles next to certain names? You're the detective, you tell me. Huh? Get in. You won't find Mr. J. He's in the secret lab in the gardens and oh crap. Yep, I know. Damn. Well, he'll get me out. You'll see. Yeah. You'll see. <laughs> She's not particularly smart in a lot of iterations of her. She's not. Which is stupid, considering she's a doctor. Her psychologist, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Harley's been everywhere on the island. So I'm calibrating the scanner to only show prints that have traces yeah, of chlorophyll. Okay, listen, be careful. I rerouted a Wayne Tech satellite to show thermal scans of the island. The gardens are showing up hot. Okie dokie. Try not to blow out my ears since it was like blasting. Oh, those are guns. <laughs> oh. Whoa. <laughs> Batman just drops down. He's like, I got you. Oh, no, those are guns. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Shut! That was a nut shot. I didn't see it, but I know that was a nut shot. <laughs> that didn't even connect. I feel like they just told Mark Hamill to yeah, just like improv the, the shit out of this. Probably. Don't you know that's like 80% of acting? That is true. Improv, like, gives some of the best shit, man. It does. In fact, one of the games we will be covering. I do enjoy that the Joker commentates because he actually can see you because there are cameras in this entire facility but he won't tell his goons anything he just yeah he just he's having too much fun he likes watching them fail you are making me angry. listen if you got a bunch of mooks that are willing to do unpaid labor for you and just kill whoever you want wouldn't you want them to do all the work don't freak out you can handle this yeah. you could have them co-host a podcast too wow <laughs> <laughs> Wow! <laughs> you need to stop this now, before it goes too far. Stop. 
but everyone's dying to see what I do next. True. Let him go now. Really? Okay, if you say so, Bat. <laughs> Whoopsie! No! <laughs> Oh, what you, I, I hate it when people uh, you really do that. You need to speed things up, Bats. At this rate, you'll never catch me. That's my least favorite superhero line. Let him go. Okay. I, do you remember that from um from Dark Knight? Like, let her go. Very poor choice of words and drops her. Like, why? Why do people? Why do heroes do that? That's I, not logical. I don't know. That is a very, very tiring trope, and I feel like Dark Knight, Dark Knight killed it. Listen, uh. I, I, I can appreciate the line when it's done poorly. Here is why. This is an example of why it was done poorly. Not because of the delivery of the line. All right. No, it's because of the animation of the voice and the lips. And the, and the expression it was just statue let her go and then afterwards statue no oh no no deserved <laughs> oh no save him save him oh wait Wow. Ah, jeez. You think Bat at times like this, Batman's like, uh, I'm not gonna tell anybody about this. <laughs> Blow up his face. How did that open the... Okay. I don't know, man. Ask the person who built this place. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now we get some ivy. Or more Joker. Yeah, look who's discovered our secret lab. Since you've made it this far, let me show you what I cooked up. What's this game rated again? I don't know, but that, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a ready T for Tim. Oh, uh, for mild violence. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> mild, of course. That's not violence. It's gore. Oracle, I've destroyed the Titan production facility, but Joker escaped with enough to cause us real problems. Just when you think it can't get any worse. They've been using a venom plant hybrid to create the Titan strain. The plant's the key. And there's only one person on Arkham Island who can help us. And what makes you think Poison Ivy will help you? If her plants are at risk, she'll listen. I have a sample of her pheromone signature on record. She'll be somewhere in the gardens. I'll track her down. There's no way out through this elevator shaft. I'll need to go back the way I came. I think it's fair to say, for the setup of this game, Batman's probably in like his fifth or fourth year for how much experience he's already had with these villains. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to need something to get over. Unless this you routine. guys disagree and think maybe he's got less years or something like that. Maybe I don't think uh, it'd be hard to say if Justice League is here because they obviously would have shown up by now. I'm really bad at like determining like timelines for things, especially with some being quote unquote canon and not canon, it's, and DC Marvel stuff being the worst because alternate verses and shit. That's true. So, you, you, I'll I'll take your word for it. It's all right, my darlings. I'm here now. 
My poor darlings. Yes, I know he's found us, but I won't let him hurt you. I'll kill him first. Ivy, I know Dr. Young mutated these plants to produce venom. Yes, and I heard it through the grapevine the evil woman paid the price. <laughs> I need you to help me create an antidote. Why should I? Let Joker have his fun. I'll enjoy watching you squirm. <clears throat> You've been in the dark too long. Every plant on this island will get the same unless you cooperate. There's a plant growing deep in Arkham Island. Only it can counter the effects of this Titan strain. Where do I find it? Oh, in Killer Croc's lair. You didn't think it would be easy, did you? Go back to your cell, or I'll be after you next. And I'll be waiting. Oracle, I need to find a way into Killer Croc's lair. It's somewhere below Arkham Island. There's nothing on the system about where he's kept. I found a door near the Batcave, but it's shut tight. There's got to be another way in. I left guard Cash in the mansion. I'll see if he can shed some light on where Crocs kept. But yeah, you'd, I, you'd think for sure Alfred would, if he heard word that he was stuck on Arkham... Okay, well, maybe not. He's Batman, and that's like the first thing Al, Al, Alfred knows. Um, okay, I was having the second thought, like, maybe he'd be worried, but he also knows he's Batman, and he would definitely not be worried after that. Uh, Alfred also knows if Batman needs help, he'll ask for it. Yeah, he'll ask for it. It's very rare that he asks for help, and the times he does scares the shit out of Alfred every time. True. If there's one person that can beat up Batman, it's Alfred. I would hope so. He raised him. <laughs> Bat spank him. Work on the left, but okay. I figured you'd be Refuses here. Refuses to now. elaborate. Walks What's away. the deal with the plants? It's complicated. Let me guess. Poison Ivy. She teamed up with Joker. All that matters is that I can stop the plants taking over the island. But there's always a but, isn't there? Where do you keep Killer Croc? I found a door in the sewers, but it's sealed shut. That monster's got his own special cell. It's right below the transfer room, back in intensive treatment. Elevator goes right down to an old sewer. You just drop meat down there every day or so and try to forget about it. It's locked off. More security than the Joker. You won't get in without the warden's permission. He has the codes. Thanks, Cash. Stay here and do not go near the plants. They'll kill you. That nut shot. <laughs> Who's keep it? Do we even have an idea of the count anymore? Nope. I wasn't counting. We lost the amount of count of nuts. You'll have to go through the footage and find them. That's gonna be fun. Especially for how many times Marley just goes not shot. No, I didn't keep count this time because before we decided what the counter was, we were already as an episode in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We, we just, we'll fix it in post, it's fine. I, ah, oh, that's such cursed words. 
We'll, uh, we'll fix it in post. It's just the motto of Denouement, we'll fix it in post. <laughs> Did anyone catch the game last night? Oh shit. Whoa. Uh. Um. Oh. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh, oh man. Oh, We've shit. been here before. <laughs> no, it's not that. You can see like the V1.1. You can see the background in the fucking screen. <laughs> oh wait a minute. Oh. Wait, wait. Hang on. Welcome to Akram Asylum. <laughs> Akram. God, is my game busted up or something? Oh, there we go. Anyway, back to the game. We have to restart and start at the beginning. Hey, welcome back to Denouement, everyone. Today we're playing Have Joker Man Arkham Asylum. If you have any questions, please visit us at www.ithinkuncomplete.com. Batman, can you hear me? They're taking us he all. don't They're look so freaking scary all. now, does he, Mr. Dick? Help, Help us, please! Save us, please! Just gotta check your prisoner, dear. Whatever. Just be quick. He's not looking too good. No, he's not. We really should feel sorry for him. He never fully got over his parents' death. It left him quite insane. What is going on inside your head, Wayne? <laughs> He's gone. Just a twisted shell of a man. Cut me free! He's all yours, Joker. Oh, goody. Come on, Mr. J. We're ready. I've waited a long time for this, Bats. Let's start the party. With a bag. <laughs> Okay, so the Fishing advice. Mailed. So the <laughs> advice is to to tilt the mouse to dodge Joker's gunfire. How do I tilt the mouse? Uh, Just make it play League of Legends. That'll get it yeah, tilted. That'll, that'll tilt that'll, the hell that'll, out of it. That'll to, tilt the hell. Yeah. All right, we'll try that again. I wonder how many. Like, I wonder the statistics of people that died during that scene. Probably a hundred percent. So from here, the Scarecrow section is pretty much the same, beside that intro. And a lot of people really like that. That whole intro section. For just this <laughs> last part. Just, like, it yeah, restarts the cool. game, it acts like the game's breaking. <laughs> that was cool. I like that. This. It was pretty was clever. Like, I don't like this. This sucks. I mean, I like the, the, the Scarface talking in the background as Mark Hamill. No More than the Scarecrow the section here. To step into my my is manned by Waylon Jones. I'm assured that he's cured almost every patient sent to him and boasts empty beds in all his wards. Aww. Now I don't have that guy talking anymore. No, like, that's all good. Like, I like that. That was cool. Like, I like that detail. But I just don't like the sec- like, this- this whole sequence. This whole sequence is very... It's very much just the same thing as the last two, but they actually had creativity just for the intro. I mean, the first time was interesting, but they just showed Gordon dead, and, I mean, it's a Batman game. You're not gonna kill Gordon. I don't know. I just don't like this- this- this section as a game thing. It gets very tiring after you do it the first two times. Just enough toxin 
sense to drive dead men insane. What are you? I am justice. Why, but just thinking. <laughs> you're as crazy as the rest of us. You need us as much as we need you. And to prove it, I'll flood the catacombs with enough fear gas to break the minds of everyone in Gotham for a hundred years. Is that really the best idea? Yes. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. No. Oh, 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 oh
of a psychological sense in mm. any sort of superhero lore. Like I haven't seen someone that actually deals with like psychological trauma like Scarecrow has. Maybe that one part of Joker, but like Scarecrow, that's kind of his bread and butter. Yeah. Not really much else he can do beside, you know, stick up. But he has to get close to you. That's the problem. Unless he turns it into a gas form. He's a interesting villain. He's just eh. he yeah, he's kind of I don't even know about his voice in this in this game. It's kind of weird. I also think it bothers me a little that his mask moves when that's not actually his face. Yeah. I get it. They wanted to animate like something to show that he's talking, but it just looks weird. Yeah. So, and now we have probably the only section in Killer Croc, so We'll see how that how that goes. That is the only thing that we have to do is that we have to hit a shot collar that uh, we were introduced in the intro in this game. The only thing that's impeding him from tearing ba uh, Batman apart. So this entire section is you walking around the sewers, looking for spores, and hitting a shot collar? Yes, and I can't sprint, otherwise he will know where I'm at. Okay. Okay. It, it, yeah, it's not much. <laughs> oh my god. But he is a one hit, so... I, I almost... Like that's that's fair, but I almost feel like that's a cop out for one of Batman's more dangerous These villains. Don't contain enough he really is. To a mold. I'm going to need to find Croc more. doesn't give a fuck. He eats people. He doesn't care. He's the better and version they... of Bane. <laughs> and it's a cop out. Hit his shot collar. Win. Yep. <laughs> there you are. I don't think I'd be hard pressed to say that the villain that m most of the villain roster in this game is under is underused excuse you steve Lum. excuse you sir i was talking <laughs> <laughs> so like, well. I, I, it's it, i guess i also have to keep that in mind that not all the engines could do a lot of stuff at the time Anyway, you were saying? <laughs> I just... It really Croc. does feel underwhelming. It's just... Poor Croc. Like, I feel sorry for Croc at this point. I get Steve it. Bloom he can, like, one hit kill you. But... This would be terrifying if they just made it better. There he is. Maybe if they, you know, added in a little more risk to it. Mm -hmm. or yeah. maybe this... had it a little darker and maybe not as much music this reminds me heavily of like the amnesia water monster almost yes 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 and that music wasn't very blasting either mm -hmm. you are mine Okay, so that's I think that's the only change they make is that he, he starts breaking the uh, the panels, but we already have this tool, so that kind of doesn't really. Whoa, Jesus! Okay, well that was new. That was close. I'm not saying anything. Like water to his advantage. You would think. Unfortunately, Batman has the same weakness as Geralt. Can't touch water or he dies. Oh, video game. Well, I guess the same thing with freaking Assassin's Creed. Every game, you cannot touch the water. Okay, well, maybe not every game. I just realized there's the pirate one that everyone likes. <laughs> oh, I get it. You've activated a sonar beacon down there. Clever. Sonar, like a I'm bat. Out of here. What about Croc? 
He won't be a problem. Okay, what Why? What did you do? <laughs> see, Bruh. see, you can do it. They just don't do it. <laughs> Wait, who was? Killer Croc in the animated series. Was he? Let's see. Google is a friend. For a little bit, I think. Not very long. I remember Scarecrow's old look, and he was actually kind of shady with the uh, the shadows covering him, and he what he did have the the Scarecrow hat on. He looks stupid as hell, but yeah. Yeah. He it. appears in six episodes. Uh, his first appearance was in the episode Vendetta, and his last appearance was in Bane. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Looking through the pictures and I find someone- I, I find a version of Alfred that's given so much sass. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this shit! <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> it's glorious. Oh my god. <laughs> the animated series was so good. Uh, I missed it. I remember the, the one line in Justice League where he's like, hmm, and I thought Batman was supposed to take out the trash. Oh no. My caves will be your tomb. Why did he verbally have to say now? <laughs> because some people wouldn't have realized what this was what was going on. Okay. <laughs> I will find you. Don't cry in the sewer. So that's the last of uh Killer Croc. <laughs> Man. He got Ugh. Got shafted. Sure did. Ain't that the fucking truth? It's not even the good shaft. It's not Samuel Jackson shaft. <laughs> it's, not it's just. Here. It's a bad it's shaft. Bad it's the bat. Does Batman really need? Well, I guess maybe. Maybe he needs a techie when he's outside the Batcave, but not not at this instant. I mean, she can look up stuff while he's busy doing other things. It's good to but have But then he someone. figures it out anyway. Well, like, she can give him the details he's missing that he can't just stop and Google real quick. <laughs> Batman on, picks me... up a bat phone. <laughs> it's like, hang on, let me Google real quick. Close. It's been more difficult than I expected. The process is slow, difficult, and doesn't produce much antidote. And the good news? The chemical will definitely stop Ivy. It may also reverse the Titan transformation. Ooh, got a little I need bit to of blood on you, Batman. To be sure. I've set the computer to create more, but I need to get out of here and find Ivy. Thank God. Her plants have reached the Gotham River. That's not a good thing. The most silent plant finds ever. Batman! Bruce, are you alright? I'm fine. <laughs> God! <laughs> God! What an upper class rich asshole. <laughs> yeah, this is my own tech. Let me just push it off the ledge because I'm fucking rich and I have a bat suit. <laughs> I hate rich superhero archetypes. They're fucking worst. Fucking, I have a picture of fucking sassy Alfred on my second screen, and it's staring at me. <laughs> He's judging you. He's down there. Dun 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 dun. dun Sam Spade. <laughs> That's all I can think of when I hear that. <laughs> I know it's like the Arkham jingle, but like it it's so close to like the old. Classic radio Sam Spades music. He's making you look stupid. Is that hard to do? But it is not why I put you down there. He's trying to shut down the power. Do not let him. Is that clear? Do you want me to send Arnie? 
There you go, Hunter. <laughs> I was wondering what the hell. Like, dude, you know this. You have cameras in this entire asylum. How did you not know she was locked up? Uh, I like it when things come full circle. It is very nice, isn't it? <laughs> it is. That's why I love one of my D&D campaigns, because my DM loves making Do things it. go full circle. Do it! Yeah! <laughs> I was trying, I was thinking like, oh no, he's going to interrupt this so bad. It's my job. <laughs> I can't do anything else productive on Day New Mod. This is what I have to do. <laughs> That's okay, Molly. I never say anything important. I will accept your interruptions for nutshots. shots. <laughs> what do you guys think of the heads up display showing me the heartbeat and condition? Just Unless kinda... they were wanted to do something more with it, it's just kind of a neat feature. It's kind of arbitrary. I mean, it kind of helps with like the condition. Like you can tell they're nervous. Maybe nervous makes it a little easier to knock them down. I feel like they're like. I'm glad you said that because it almost feels like there's no mechanic to it. But but if that is a feature, I I do appreciate it. I think it only changes like the the state of the NPC. It doesn't really change how they how they act. There we go. Three disabled. I'm going to head back up to the surface and track down Ivy. Get in touch if you need anything. Ivy's getting stronger. I need to stop her now. I think she's still in the gardens where you left her, but she'll be in control of it now. You'll be walking into a trap. That's what she thinks. You will pay, Batman, for hurting my babies. Oh, God. Does she ever stop going on about those plants of hers? When I finish with Batman, I'll be coming after you. Will you bring? Well, that's gratitude. You give them experimental chemicals and nice costumes, and they still turn on you. Well, good luck to you, toots. I got an army, a city-sized dose of titans, and a bag of weed killers. Come and find me when you're done with that ring. Oh, it'll be fun. You can bring the wine. I'll make the salad. Jesus. I love Mark Allen. That was fucking brutal, man. I wonder if he improvised that or if that was something that they wrote. Knowing how big of a DC fan it is, he is, he probably improv some of it. I won't let you destroy it, Batman. I told you to go to your cell. I was a fool. I thought the plants were in pain. Now I realize they were evolved, growing stronger. I'm about 98% sure that those noises were 100% on purpose. Because that's the last we see of Ivy. I mean, it really isn't much. He doesn't really have a big part in this story beside being the quote unquote antidote. 
I mean, that's kind of important. It is, just, it seems like her role's a little bit diminished in this. Could be more. Yeah, there's like in everyone else's. <laughs> yeah. This Certain game villains that we could think of. <laughs> I was like, this game is a habit of underplaying villains besides that aren't Joker. Which is usually the case with Batman stuff. I get that. Joker is the main bad guy, but there are other good villains in the game. Scarecrow. <laughs> what? Scarecrow. Brock. You know. We'll come back to that. As we do in the end section always. Guest list only. If your name's not on the list, you ain't going in. Let's see, yeah, A, no, that's not right. So it's B, B, Bane. Ah, here it is, Batman. Hey, looks like you're the guest of honor. Give him a big welcome, guys. Hooray for me. Why didn't you stop Batman? Uh, me? It was your plan, you goofy clown. <laughs> I'm sending you back to the ventriloquist where you belong. <laughs> you had to spoil everything, didn't you? Beating up Bane, feeding Scarecrow to Croc, slapping around Harley, my hobby by the way, and ruining all my lovely <laughs> venom plants. It's over, Joker. Over? Why, my dear delusional Dark Knight, it hasn't even begun. So, quick thing to say, this is not going to be the final boss fight, if that's what you're thinking. What do you guys think the final boss is going to be? I already know what it's gonna be. Oh, you already know. Ow, Jesus! Yeah. The controls right now! Okay. Good job, Batman. Marty, what do you think? Um, I have not seen the final <laughs> boss. Okay. I feel like we'll go for round four, but I'm anticipating... Oh, another Titan else. boss? Oh, I don't think we've seen the end of Titan bosses. I mean, we got two right here anyway. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Yeah, so I know what it is. I don't know what, it, like, I don't know how it's going to go, but I know what it is. It, mm, well, you know what? We'll get to that later. Jim, he's dead, Jim. Jim. He's dead, Jim. Jim, this is Jim News. Nicely done, Bats. You deserve a prize. Your old pal, Commissioner Gordon. Ugh. How the fuck did he get him? He looks all run down. Let's pep him up. No! Uh. Batman! Get away! Uh. Here we go! We're gonna have some fun now, kiddies! You're trying to resist the change! That's not fair! Come on, get in! <laughs> I have a superpower too. I so, never give up. You wanna play hardball, bats? Do ya? You? Your call. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, he's going to do you. Oh, you're ruining my big night! Months of planning down the crapper! 
I just wanted to bring down your grim facade and for once let you see the world as I see it, giggling in a corner and bleeding. But you denied me even that. I have nothing to live for. So <clears throat> Asylum remains under lockdown, its staff at the mercy of the rampaging inmates. Just ten minutes ago, we received this taped message. Greetings, Gotham! Joker here! Arkham is mine! So I'll unleash madness and toll onto the streets of Gotham. But first, direct your eyes to the rooftops and witness the final destruction of your dear been circling the tower since the wait I gotta wonder when he taped that uh yep there it is <sighs> that is such an extreme design change really is two freaks in a fight to the death Ready to tee, by the <laughs> way. <laughs> that little giggle. And for one night only, please welcome our special guest memory. Ooh, come on! Change! Get crazy. It's the only way to beat me. You know. Never. You wasted the antidote on yourself? <laughs> now that's funny! How do you even get like how he's got a functioning brain where the, all the other titans didn't have any functioning brains? But you still spoil my fun. Bold of you to assume that Joker has brains. Yeah, like, he probably didn't have much left to lose. That's actually very, that's actually a good point. Probably didn't fry more than I once. know, I'm full of them. Oh. I'm the biggest brain here on Day Numa. Wow. Wow. Excuse me, bats. You're not wrong, but wow. <laughs> I guess it would be hard to program a a, a boss fight with Joker, but this is just Oh, out there. <laughs> he really shouldn't have a boss fight. Well, think about it with the Riddler. You'd have a bunch of puzzles, right? That'd be pretty much like your mm -hmm. boss fight. You wouldn't be in a Either giant that. mech suit. Either that or like one of those boss fights where you're chasing them down through a maze. Or like through traps and shit. Oh no, there's another one. <laughs> He just gets bored. And... Give him a kicking for me, boys. Yeah, I'm bored of him. Oh, he literally yeah, said it. Hey, he said that he was bored. He literally said it. <laughs> He's only got one more health state. Apparently, it will stop you. Oh. I can take it. I can take anything you throw at me, Bats. You can't beat me. I'm actually going uh, to win. Ready for the next round? Always. What? I'll never let you win. <laughs> never. <laughs> no! Oh, jeez, you even did the villain no thing. Mm, his hand should be fu oh yeah look at that his bracers look at that. Like fucked up yikes Alfred's Dad, like you know how expensive this gear is I'm fine Barbara the GCPD finally has control of the asylum doctors are treating the injured but it looks like it'll take some time what's the diagnosis on All this guy been punched in the nuts system. five times <laughs> quite a mess in there I can't believe every single last one of them punched you in the dick. 
How's he back to normal? Dad, how are you doing? I'll survive. Plot. See you tonight, Barbara. Shame about your car. Can I give you a ride? Thanks, Jim, but I have one on the way. Get some rest. Oh, you yeah. deserve it. Stay safe, Jim. <laughs> you are expecting maybe two face? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the brakes being robbed by Two Face. I, I'm having a thought in my head where he, Two Face is like, "Oh, hey, Batman's here. What happened to your hand? What happened to your face? It happened yeah. to all of you." Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Let me was... uh, let's uh, transition over to the final screen and we'll talk about our overall thoughts and all the sections so we'll see you there in about uh, five seconds okay we're here now okay <laughs> uh let me see uh okay so overall thoughts who wants to start on that i think i did last time with halo I think this was better than Dead Space and Halo for a story approach. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, this was a this may not have been my cup of tea for story, but it was a way better story and I did enjoy the time that we actually had to review the different portions of it. Um, a very well-known characters too, which is the the uh, uh, the, the advantage. That yeah, that is definitely an advantage. Uh, I wasn't gonna bring that up, but you know, I was just gonna drop that in because someone's gonna say it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think that. Uh, how do I put this? I felt like it had a very good track of progress. Um, when it got to the ending, I think we saw a couple holes. Like, uh, I mean, the biggest one is how did Joker turn back to the way he was? Plot. Exactly. <laughs> um, but I mean, it's a superhero comic. What, what do you expect? I mean, I, I expected to at least give some merits <laughs> not every Maybe game in the next every one plot. yeah uh, anyway that's my thoughts on it okay uh hunter you want to go next or you want me to go next i mean i can go I and mean, i i really totally enjoyed the game it was nice the story was good the ending was mm. <laughs> <laughs> i feel like the ending could have been better but overall i did enjoy it i love the music i love the characters I do think Dead Space was pretty good on the story list, but I do say it's definitely better than Halo. Just to pour salt into that wound again. Yeah. <laughs> we will never stop pouring uh, salt into the wound that is Halo. Boy. <gasps> Listen, someone here on the team thought it was a good idea to review it for story when it's a combat game. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I was like, look... <laughs> I'll shit on it for one more for, for this for this one because this is better than what we had last time. We'll have worse ones for sure. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Okay. Well, uh, having played the future games, but uh, we'll we'll not have that section until we play like the last of these Arkham games for a while. Um, it's stuff it's i think the way i'd put it is that it's the pilot episode for a series that it gives the concept of hey here's batman he's on uh a prison where most of his villain well okay not most of his villains some of his villains are and there's an outbreak and he's trapped with them that's pretty much it's a good concept which uh i mean batman's mostly known for his uh his villain roster but uh execution wise there's you know there's little there's little gaps in here it's not they're not big issues but they're it's definitely better than um um 
Oh, where am I going with this? It's better than some of the other entries that I played before uh, returning to this one for this uh, series. So, um, I, 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 I'd say I enjoyed it too, for what it's worth. I feel like we had a lot more fun this time around. Oh yeah, we definitely did. Oh, we definitely had more <laughs> fun. I'm just putting our nut shot counter somewhere. Yeah. I ah, just got to have that at, right at the end. Don't worry about it. I was hoping well, he would do it post. one more time for old time's sake, but... I know! I was waiting for it, too! <laughs> Nothing knows? but infinite nut shots all the way around, but Batman just wants to tease us with a couple booty calls. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably... That'll probably change with the, um... Um... Um, with the, um... Oh, shoot. I'm losing my train of thought here as I go on. Um, with the, when we get into Arkham City, we'll pr it'll probably start up again, unless they patched it. Um, because I definitely didn't notice it until <laughs> we played together on this series, and then, oh, he punched him in the nuts, and then Marley just said all this shit about punching him in the nuts. I was like, I did not notice this the first time I played it. Well, here we are. Well, here we are at the crossroads. Yeah. Okay. So but now that the game is over, I can rescind what I said earlier, and now I can freely say without issue, I played this game before. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's get to the scores. <laughs> uh, so let's start with our categories here. We're going to have a spin on it this time. Favorite characters that are not Batman and Joker. Uh, do you guys need me to list out the cast again? Uh, I'd appreciate it. So, we got Jim Gordon, Commissioner Gordon. We got Bowles, the inside cop that had maybe like, what, 15 minutes of screen time? But if he's like one of the catalysts to the breakout starting, he might as well be important character to this whether it happened or not um harley quinn poison ivy dr cruz if that if anyone even clicks with that one that some some of the characters that we're not familiar with that were added into the series were just kind of gonna be like Neh. um bane killer croc do we want to add riddler in <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can. Okay, we'll add him in just because he's he's special. Um, and Scarecrow. I would add in the the one officer who had the uh, little robotic hand on him, but he's not really crucial to the story. He's just kind of there. He's not relevant. Yeah. Just another mook. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so who wants to... S Actually, you know what? I'll start. Um, my... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Go, go. So, um, it's actually a hard decision for me because it's always... Ah, uh, that spin... That, you know, fuck. So... <laughs> so my favorite character that's not Batman the Joker is just going to be inherently Jim... Oh, wait, shit. Oracle. Oops. <laughs> Good nice. job. I'm proud there. of you. She's been there for a while. She's been there the entire time. She's been there. Know? She's kind of disappeared at the while end. You're sleeping. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, shit. You know what? I'm going to change Fuck. I, I'm going to change it. You know what? Screw it. It's just going to make it Scarecrow because that final section was awesome. Until it went back to hide behind walls. Oh boy. Your favorite character, Scarecrow. <laughs> That's neat. Yeah, it's Scarecrow. I don't blame him. If it wasn't my There's choice, it would be. There's not much else to choose here. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody uh, else is so underwhelming. That's true. Hanta. Uh... My favorite character 
That's not Batman and Joker. That's not Batman and Joker. <laughs> it's not it's Batman and Joker. It's probably going to be Oracle. <laughs> now that you say it. <laughs> She's a little uh, underwhelming, but, you know, Batman can't look up shit on the fly. Yeah, he's got that portable bat cave under the island that he somehow made there, but... Yeah. He I like, I like have, the guy in the chair. <laughs> he doesn't have Wi-Fi. The guy in the chair? No, I... I like the guy in the chair aspect. Like, oh, I yeah, like yeah, her. Yeah. She's basically his guy in the chair. Um, before anyone says anything, we're not adding Zaz in there. He literally was a tutorial boss. <laughs> That's okay. It's not my choice. <laughs> I had this, I forgot about that because he does have probably one of the more interesting comic book series, but it, meh, he's a tutorial layer. I don't care. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, there's so many wonderful choices that you can make in this game compared to, I don't know, the six that we could choose from the last game that we reviewed. <laughs> Our cast Something is bigger. Something Halo. Sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> but there's just so many to pick. So, I'm just going to put it into a collective compendium. My favorite character, that isn't Batman or Joker, is Thank you. the man, the myth, the legend, Steve Bloom. <laughs> All right. Fuck's sake. You have a point. Because <laughs> think about it. Steve Bloom is the best character because he always comes out of nowhere. And then all of a sudden you're like, wait, I know that guy. He's the man of one voice, but a million faces. It's perfect. That literal meme video from the uh, the Dawn of War voice cast, <laughs> where he's just like, "Hi, I'm Steve Bloom. I st I play Steve Bloom, Steve Bloom, and Lord Steve Bloom, the Inheritor." <laughs> Lord Steve Bloom, the Inheritor. <laughs> it's like, yes, Steve Bloom. We understand what you do, and you do great stuff. Okay, so now we gotta get to the obvious one. Which do you guys p pick as the favorite of the two biggies? Batman or Joker? And I don't even think we have to explain it. It's pretty... It's it's a pretty self-explanatory one. Well... I don't know if you've noticed through this entire series, through this entire game, I am I a really mean... big Mark Hamill fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, don't we just want to do it all on, like, the count of three or something? Yeah. One. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Joker. 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 <laughs> it's just, it's just all. Always... I mean, it's just, like, come on. It's just like, the like, best. I, like, don't get me wrong, Batman's great, I love the voice actor, but fucking, you can't be fucked. You, you just... can't. It's too no, good. No, it's... It's not about the other interactions and experiences that you've had with Mark Hamill as the Joker. If we're just looking at Arkham Asylum by itself, one, Joker's always there. Two, Joker's always more vocal than Batman because he has to patronize him over and over again. Mm -hmm. Three, the most important thing that made me pick Joker over Betsy, Joker is more animated period like i'm sorry i understand it's an old game but when you're doing a telltale game and all that batman's expression is just flat and neutral and there's no real shift in his lips other than just up and down <laughs> it kind of it kind of defeats the purpose when you have another character that's just all over the place with his with his bones just swinging his arms leaning back you can see his eyes moving. Like, there is so much more expression in Joker than there is in the main playable character. And I understand that's kind of like a trope for Batman to be the whole brooding I am vengeance, but like, he's still a human, dude. You gotta give him something. I'm also going to, once again, re reiterate this because I know there's gonna be that one person that I know that's gonna watch this and be like, well, Game animation, taking time for that takes a lot of time. I understand! I am sorry! 
I am an amateur. <laughs> I just see these things, and I have to pick on them because I don't know shit. Well, here's the thing that I'll, I'll bounce off that point for you. Um, compared to the other Arkham games, there's really not much happening to Batman to allow him to bounce off anything. It's still, I mean, Kevin Conroy, it's the, it's, you're, you're going to get what you're going to get. But yeah. this, this, compared to the other games, there's really not much happening to him. Like I said, it's a pilot episode, is what it feels like. Mm -hmm. Miley makes good points, though. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, good points, but, you know. I think that's why, well, well, there is no Superman game besides Superman 64, but, I mean, that's why most is people... That really? I mean, I'm not counting Injustice. I'm just saying, like, on his solo. Wow. Yeah. I, I didn't realize that. I don't know if there are any others. If there are, then there are probably mobile games on the phone. And who the hell cares about that? But, um... Okay. Next Superman category. Being the, Superman being the Boy Scout, I mean, he'd have more expressions, obviously. Yeah, unless you're Zack Snyder's Superman. But we'll get to that another time. Moving on. Uh, huh, 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 huh. I didn't realize you we were reviewing movies too. <laughs> I really don't like Zack Snyder stuff. Beside 300. Okay, next category. Moving on. Uh, least favorite character. I I will go first actually. So my least favorite character is Bane, and here's the reason why, as if I'm editing this video to have a bunch of slides coming in. Um, Bane has an in interesting he uh, history when it comes to Arkham. At the time of Arkham Asylum came out, Dark Knight was already out, and Bane is still in his dumb dumb phase, if that makes sense. He's he's still, you know, I'm, I'm strong and I take drugs. So, Dark Knight Rises hasn't happened yet, which gives him more of that intelligent stuff. Um, I'd have to check again on the date for when Arkham City and Dark Knight Rises came out, but um, Smarter Bane is a better character than Big Dumb Strong Bane, because all he's ever done is break Batman's back, and that's it. We. Bane's mean, pretty heavy, considering. Yeah. It's an interesting his, uh, history to it, is still the thing, but it's still like one of those characters that you're like, oh, we're doing this again. Plus he uses Venom, he's not using Titan. So, mm -hmm. whoever wants to go next. I don't think I need to go next because I think I already made my point. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> As your least favorite character, Batman. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> oh, you poor soul. <laughs> Case closed. Tracks that, but done. Bats. He's least favorite. Next person. <laughs> um. Well, to distract from that shit show. Um, my least favorite character is kind of a toss-up. To be fair. Um. Obviously enough, Killer Croc. My god, what was that? What was the entirety of that? The fact that, that we were terrible. talking about something else the entire section was a pretty, a big cry to that. Actually, yeah, you like... know what? I rescind it. I have a different least favorite character. Not Steve Bloom? Not Steve Bloom, but... The, uh... God, what the hell do you call him? Um... The, uh, the mini bosses that were injected with Titans. Oh, the Titans, yeah. Oh, okay. I think yeah. they just fuck, Titans. Fuck those guys! <laughs> <laughs> they, I, yeah, I mean, gameplay. Well, story wise, they're just the big, bigger bads. Story wise, they're just a one trick pony. Yeah, I mean, there's <laughs> nothing going for them. It's so boring. It is. Just, you, like I said, with pilot episode. You have a plethora of villains to pick from. You picked maybe four. 
and made one of them a tutorial boss. Listen, yeah. if you could have just had Clayface as a t with Titan in him, uh, I'm not going to say it, but I am going to say it would have been a treat. Oh, would you like Clayface as a boss? Oh, absolutely! Are you kidding Clay me? Clayface is pretty nasty. That is a pretty overpowered mm. ability to be able to change everything about you, and you're able to get their manner. Well, kind Could of you right. Imagine I remember in Justice. Different? I remember in Justice League, he tried to be as Flash, and he said, "Yo," and <laughs> Batman tastes him. He's like, "What well, gave me away? You overplayed your part, yo." <laughs> but like could you imagine how massively different this game would be if they had play place in the mix like it, they're just being a constant state of batman on just like trying to save people or like trying to save gordon thinking it's gordon and it turns out to be Clayface. you get into another fight he gets away you just have this constant state of unsure yeah we only see him in that in that cell so mm -hmm. he is there yeah like i think there could have been another aspect of the game they could have played upon if Clayface was acting but, uh, going back to my point, uh, Croc, it's a toss up between Croc because Croc is terrible, and uh, funnily enough, Scarecrow because I just I loved the way the scenes were, like the way the toxin was, or the, the, toxin, the fear gas was like making Batman hallucinate, especially in the last section where he thought he was the mental patient. Yeah. But the fucking I am giant. Don't look at me. <laughs> I look at you, you die. Why? What was the point of that? Batman's very self-conscious. I, I it's just I hate it. That that whole thing just m makes me so. And upset. we always have to have the section where, hey, Batman's parents are dead, by the way. I know. I, but, but it's, no, it's kind of a toss-up between those two. I couldn't pick. I, <laughs> I thought about this through the series. It's the same thing with Spider-Man. You I always not remi remind him that, uh, or remind the audience that Uncle Ben's dead. Hmm. Just, you know, some things you don't need to repeat again. Which, unfortunately, when you have a really popular series, you need to start doing it again and again and again, and, again, and then you get, you toss it aside and you never use it again. But for continuity's sake, you have to do it again, unless it, you want to make it confusing. There's a time and a place to input those hooks. Yeah. <clears throat> And there is a proper way of doing it, too. Yeah. Which I feel like DC has kind of lost its touch with, personally. With the uh, the movies, you mean? Um, or are you talking about, like, comic? I mean, anything that I've seen in general when it comes to, like, crutches of a hero, it doesn't... I guess in the movies it's kind of more prevalent because that's what everyone sees. I don't know. I, I'm i just going to go ahead and stop before I dig myself all the way down to China. <laughs> okay, so let's get to our subjective scoring then. Um, you know what, Marley, you're going to start because you always have something fucking stupid at <laughs> to put on there. <laughs> I feel like did I didn't I start both of them last time? Uh, no. It's a trend now. You're starting all the time. Okay, fine. Um, let's see. Uh, we're gonna give it subjectively. It's gonna be about. Eight out of ten. Oh, yikes! Okay, could you pick something else? <laughs> Hunter, what's your subjective scoring? Um, I probably gotta give this game a solid about eight out of ten as well. Damn, is that the same thing I you gave? I my memory's literally fried right now. Did you just give the same score 8 out of 10? Yeah. 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 Jesus. <laughs> okay. I like, like, I enjoyed this game. It was nice. Alright. I enjoyed the story of it. 
Right, the gameplay looked a little wonky, but that was on you, not me. Yeah, that's that's more my fault then. It, All it right, could have I got been one. higher if the, the boss fights didn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you what have you got for us? All right, eight Steve blooms out of ten. <laughs> all right okay so my subjective scoring is going to be seven out of ten and that is because it's not my favorite in the arkham series it's again it's a pilot uh pilot episode is the way i described it it's uh okay it's but good. if you were to judge it as a standalone how would you judge it standalone probably um Oh, five out of ten, probably. Why would it be lower? Out of curiosity. Five out of ten, if it was on its own. I mean, control. Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna talk about gameplay. Um, <clears throat> the story is a lot of go over here, do this thing. Go over here, do this thing. Instead of would you uh, say it suffers from Metro Complex? Ooh, that's actually a good question because I'm playing Metro right now, uh, at the same time as this. Um, I wouldn't say so because it does not have someone <laughs> telling me in my ear, use this thing to get through this section. Move quickly, but be quiet. <sighs> oh, it's not, it's not even that. Like, the, like I'm playing <clears throat> Metro Exodus right now, and it literally, like, I remember these enemies from the last game. And someone's got to tell me, use your flashlight to kill them. And I'm like, I know, shut up. <laughs> I played the other game. You don't have to tell me again. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it just suffers from um, point to point and not actually, um, I mean, the motivation, so motiva <clears throat> it's, mo it's a lot of simplicity. It's that... Um, it's a prison breakout. It's it it deals a lot into that. There's just it's basic. It's not really anything big, and a lot of characters are underutilized. That's fair. I think I give it more of a high scoring because, like, if I actually sat down to play this game and like did all the Riddler stuff, I think I would enjoy it a lot. Mm. Uh, actually, yeah, the the Riddler stuff doesn't even like matter in this game. It does. It's through a freaking phone call that he gets arrested. It's very bizarre. Yeah. So I guess you well, could also Riddler's... I guess you could also mark that up as budget constraints. Well, that not only that, Riddler's also not one of those villains who did a lot of things actively. He just he was always behind a screen. Yeah. He's not gonna you know pick up a giant Gundam with a giant green. A question mark on it and start to fight Batman. That's just not his thing. No, it's not. Unlike Joker here, that turned into a, a monster uh, from Space Jam with all the bones sticking out. God, obscure, obscure reference. Hey, fucking yo. Obscure. That reference. is the fucking truth, though. I don't even know why he got a freaking mohawk. That's a weird design choice. Jared Leto. Why'd you have to remind me of that? <laughs> Just don't. Just don't. <laughs> it's okay. I feel Alfred's eyes on me now. Yeah. Sick of my shit. <laughs> Literally, just give me the give me another copy of Joker of Joker from 2019, and I'll watch it again and forget that ever happened. God. <laughs> okay. Okay. Time to get into our objective scoring. Um, since I went last, I'll go first. I am going to give it a seven out of ten. Hunter, I think you're still in the middle of this. I'm always in the middle of this. Oh um, my. Uh, so seven out of ten. Let me let me explain that real quick because I realized I didn't just say anything there. Um, objectively wise, this is just it's a simplistic uh, plot that um, it fulfills its concept. Um, I'm not gonna say the pilot episode part except right now. Um, cause I'm not gonna factor that into this. 
on its own <clears throat> on its own this it gets the plot moving there's not any pacing issues um there's just a lot of re repetition and a lot of execution problems that um fall, sh fall short of what uh they could have been so i don't even know where how the hell gordon got captured again unless i missed that no they didn't really do anything or say anything that hinted that he got captured again. I only remember it is is a the... princess peach of the situation. Oh god. Yeah. I only remember when in I think it was like maybe the first two hours while we were going through this, the uh they said uh Gotham has like a bunch of Joker bombs that he was gonna blow up if anyone else came to Arkham, which I guess You know people went to Arkham. They were flying over it. Yeah, and, but then they said like they were they were just fake bombs at like the halfway point. So it's like, okay, why did nobody else show up? Because if you're gonna, they don't, uh, they don't specifically say anybody else is in here. I mean, you could guess that maybe Robin. Well, maybe not Robin. Um, that maybe any <clears throat> any other characters that Batman uh knows could jump into here um would be stopped by um uh, the bombs obviously unless you're unless you're superman or flash then good luck um <clears throat> but that's a, that's the thing you have like and you have to either detach yourself from the other elements of uh characters that probably would know each other in this circumstance and other times when you you should connect it and recognize the uh, connections and find a way to explain why these things would not happen. Objectively, for the game, I'd probably give it about six and a half out of ten. Mainly, like for the game, like gameplay wise. Is the uh, the ending playing in a big factor there? Also, the ending, yeah. And then there's a lot of, like you had mentioned earlier, it's a lot of running back and forth. Like, I don't mind personally running back and forth, but for most people, the running back and forth and not getting, really getting anywhere is frustrating. Let me let me reiterate on that. There's the that brief section there where we have to... Batman has to find out where Killer Croc is, where he's in, like, the sewers, obviously. Mm. Um... And we literally have to go over to the location where Ca uh, Officer Cash is at. And it's just literally going into the building. You see all the, the damage that uh, that Ivy's doing. That's pretty much what <clears throat> what all that's there for. You just talk to Cash. Nothing else happens. And you exit the building. That's, that's pretty much what I'm saying. Is that there's nothing going on there. You just get the information. You get out. And then rinse and repeat. Mm. So, just clarifying myself there real quick. That's fair. Yeah, it is fair. So, uh, Marley, what is, what was your... Unless, Hunter, you want to drop a little bit more on there? Mm-mm. All right. Good. Marley, what's your objective scoring? I'm going to give the scoring... But I really don't feel like I need to explain why I'm giving it this score because you both have pretty much stuck it, the the nail the last nail into the coffin. Mm -hmm. So this one is gonna be for me objectively six Steve Blooms out of ten. <laughs> isn't it no. always isn't it always a subjective when you always do the thing? <laughs> Now What's... you're doing it. Now you're doing it on objective. Meh. I don't know. Let him do his thing. It's okay. It doesn't make it easy for me in post. It's fine. We'll fix it's it in fine. post. <laughs> You'll deal with it. Uh, Merch store coming soon. Hashtag we'll fix it in post. Uh. <laughs> oh, you know, I would let's... buy a shirt that says we'll fix it in post, though. God. Yeah. <laughs> You know what's funny? I just realized there's another character that we've completely forgotten. The Warden. 
Oh. Is it played by Steve Bloom? No, no, I don't care. It's just Tom Kane again. <laughs> I mean, the As warden plays is apparently Tim not Gordon important. Again. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, got like, captured by Harley Quinn, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's clearly not that important. <laughs> we didn't think to add him on the list. God, there's a lot of under. There's a lot of characters I could easily forget from this series. Hence why I said. There are a lot of wonderful characters here in this very lovely game. Compared to the last one that we played. <clears throat> All right then. Well, I mean, this is probably like I said uh, at the end of the Halo one. This was definitely one we were gonna enjoy for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really did enjoy it. <laughs> so next time when we return to this or uh, return to this series, which we'll definitely we're definitely not. <laughs> as you can tell, we're not doing any of these in order. Maybe we will in the future. Who knows when we cross out some of these. Um, when we return to the Arkham series, we're actually going to get a lot of improvements. No good. Arkham City. Mm. That's, some, that's some good stuff right there. I'm sure we'll have something else to abide our time until then. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. In fact, we might be revisiting one of those series in the future that we did earlier. You only have maybe two to look at anyway, so it's not that hard of a guess. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, this has been Arkham Silent. It was a fun time. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll, wherever you're watching this, whenever you're watching this. However we'll... you're watching this, we don't judge. <laughs> Would, would you like to would you like to host have a good night everybody <laughs> you know what bring it i will host the next the next crowd oh god words i will host the next episode of day human hell or high water we'll see you next time we'll see you guys okay. next time Bye bye <laughs>